Engineer 775 wanting to uh, salvage waste motor oil, transmission fluid, old diesel that has water in it, whatever type of fuel that you might be able to have access to. Wouldn't it be great to be able to take that fuel and run it in your vehicles and not throw it away or have to recycle it? You can recycle it yourself. How do you do it? Well, one of the ways is to filter, but filter material is expensive and you got to constantly replace it. So I was introduced to this uh, filter. Uh, actually, it's a centrifuge by U.S. Filter Max. Steve Chastain, another engineer down in Florida, great guy that uh, designed this, casted it his own centrifuge, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, a buddy of mine and I, we went, um, we started working on this together, and it's been sitting on the shelf for way too long. So we're, we brought it back out, and. Um, we are uh, going to test it. This isn't the final setup. This is just our initial test where we're going to take waste motor oil, dump it in the top of the centrifuge that's spinning at a, about 3,000 RPMs or more, and then we're going to drain, and the result will be waste will be um, sludge in one bucket and clean motor oil in the other that can be mixed with diesel or run straight in some diesel engines. Be careful on how you do this. You don't want to mess up your injectors. But for old diesel engines that are pretty, pretty forgiving, this is a, a great solution. So again, this stuff will go in my Passat or my tractor or my old two-cylinder diesel generator. But I'm just taking waste motor oil and spinning out everything to make, uh, to make fuel. Waste or motor oil has a ton of BTUs in it, and mixing it with diesel makes for a very good, sustainable solution. Um, transmission fluid, so just picture the amount of fluid that gets wasted every day and turn that into uh, transportation fuel, motor fuel. It's the way to go. Well, so anyway, here goes our first test. Gordon? All right, this is just some motor oil, nice and black from a friend of mine who's changing oil in his truck. And we're gonna start with a two and a half gallon batch and run this through the centrifuge and see what she does with it. So you can see how black it is. So it's just see how we do here. Just shy of two and a half gallons because I'm draining into a two and a half gallon bucket. So, all right, let's see if our test... Okay, we just turned the centrifuge on. And we're going to start introducing the waste oil. I've never done this before. So I might get covered in black oil. We all might. Okay, we're starting to get the filtered oil out. Starting to flow down the clear tube. So we're seeing our spun oil. This oil is, uh, we might spin it again. I'm not sure, this is the first test. But this is uh, out of the centrifuge. It won't come out of the sludge tube until you shut the motor down. And we gotta experiment with the rate at which we're flowing. I don't know if I'm going too fast, too slow. So we're still, uh, we're experimenting here for sure. Okay, this is our first batch. Um, we, we were a little bit fast on the flow rate, I think, in the beginning. So this, here we go, we're getting it, uh, we're getting down to the end of our two and a half gallon. We're just doing a two and a half gallon batch run here. And then we're gonna shut the centrifuge off, and the only way to really tell if we did anything was to see how much sludge is left in the centrifuge or how much will come out the sludge too. But that won't happen, that doesn't work until the centrifuge stops spinning because all the sludge is going to be stuck to the outside wall of the centrifuge. So we'll see, we'll wipe it out and we'll, we'll show you that. All right. Now the sludge starts coming out. This is the, the bad stuff. Um, and whatever's in the hose maybe. And whatever's in the hose. And we can spin this again. So now that the centrifuge has uh, stopped spinning, everything moves to the center, and that's where the drain plug is. So let's look at that. Okay, still getting some oil in the hose here. In the rag, we'll just uh, throw that on the table. Great. 
we're still experimenting here. Now that works great. Okay, so you see this is the guts of the centrifuge. When this is spinning, it takes the oil coming in and pushes it out and it comes over the dam. Uh, the clean stuff comes over here. It looks like it never had oil on it and then that drops in here to come out the clean tube. When you stop spinning, the internal drains here is where the sludge is coming. So let me, I'm going to wipe my finger on the outside of the centrifuge and you see this black nasty stuff. That's what came out of, and it's gritty, this is what came out of that waste motor oil. So I just have a friend that was just changing the oil in his truck and he's been saving the oil for me to do this test. But I can feel it gritty and nasty and that's what the centrifuge does. So again it's draining out of there. So you don't have to have this thing completely cleaned out to run another, until you run another batch because whatever is in here um, will stay and there's too heavy to get over this dam to get into the clean oil. Hope that makes sense. So that's our first batch run with the FilterMax um, centrifuge from FilterMax.com and I'll have uh, links in the description about this and this is uh, awesome. It does run off of a 220 power so you will need a generator or grid power to run it or a pretty good battery bank and an inverter to run it but anyway I'm looking forward to running this in the Volkswagen or my tractor and my generator and maybe even my truck. Again, it's good to be resourceful and use things around the house, especially when your wife's not home. Uh, kitchen spatula, I just swiped to uh, get the, uh, the grit and everything that has come out of this. See, this works great. Look at this. Kitchen spatula, cleaning this, and then you just kind of wipe all the sludge to the drain holes, and then we are ready for another batch. Might as well. I just figured between batches, why not get the big stuff out? and you can't beat this spatula so I owe my wife a spatula but she'll understand I hope this is awesome I might have to modify the spatula a little bit to get up in that upper ridge but uh, anyway that's doing a good job pulling it to the drain and it's going down the sludge tube there's three holes in here that collect the the heavy particulate matter and uh, we got most of it with the spatula. Awesome. Okay. All right, we're using the spatula. We've modified the standard kitchen spatula, so we're moving that oil to the center. So this is awesome. This is just like cake decorating for men. And it works really good. Oh, I like that. All right. Okay, we're going to take our motor oil that we've just spun in the centrifuge and we're going to put about a gallon and a half of it in this five gallon jug. And then I'm going to add a gallon and a half of diesel. Alright, we're adding some of the diesel to the mix. Okay, we're going to pour some of our motor oil mix and veggie, I mean motor oil and diesel 50-50 combination first. This thing is going to have so much power, we had to hold it down with the tractor. Just kidding. <laughs> Go out the window. Oh. Okay, the first test was successful with the waste motor oil, and we run it in the Passat, and we beat on the Passat for a while. It's doing fantastic. Now I've got some old diesel that I was given about a couple hundred gallons of diesel, and I, but I don't know the condition of it. I don't know what's in it in terms of water, particulate matter, whatever. This is filled with that diesel fluid right now. We're, we cleaned out the centrifuge from our waste motor oil test, and now we're going to run some diesel fuel. Uh, this diesel fuel could be 15 years old. I have no idea. And again, we'll test it in the car. Um, that's my sacrificial fuel tester. So we've got to start up the centrifuge again first. Thank you. 
starting to come out now, so I back and closed it. I'm going to try to go real slow. Still has a little bit of oil. I'm going to take a little bit of cleaning from this. Should have done that first. All right now the centrifuge has stopped. Everything's running down into the waste port. That is so awesome. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna show you that black wall in there that you see is the oil that hasn't fallen down. The centrifuge spins about 6,000 RPMs, and is a, this is the 3,000 G model cool thing is you see straight down, hard to see with this lighting, but you, you're going to see this wall of oil collapse once the centrifuge stops spinning. It's pretty cool. So that black that you see there is actually liquid. It's a liquid wall, a little uh, donut of oil in here. It's going to start collapsing here any second. As it breaks down, there it goes. Awesome. I don't know if you can see the swirls. And now it is draining out of the waste side. So we're getting the oil coming out. This is the nasty oil coming out with all the sludge. And we can rerun this batch too. We can still get a lot of good oil out of this, but that's the process.